Hi everybody, this is Kenneth Fam, and I'm back with another video of a book or a book review. And this is a book about my body, and this is a 160 pages long. So it might be a long um, video, but you don't have to worry about that because this page is like a couple. Like a couple sentences long, like this. But it actually shows much about. They have split into sections about the brain and some systems. So first, let's talk about the brain. Actually, no, the bones. The bones is like is making your body dirty and stuff. Without bones, you'll be all floppy. And you would probably die because when you hit your face on the ground, there's no skull, then you die from brain damage. So the skull is completely covered except for your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. And the thing is that even though it's really strong, it can break so you can get brain damage. So when you're riding a bike, always wear a helmet, but I don't think that would help because if you landing, like, let's say this is concrete, right? You fall face first like this. That wouldn't help. But at least it's good for your protection. And you have to get shoulder pads and your knee pads. But my dad says we don't need those. <laughs> but still, it works. But the thing is that it takes so long. It takes a long time to put on, so I just go ride my bike without the helmet, my skis and stuff. Then, let's get to the rib cage. The rib cage is holding, it's like a cage, duh, because it's called the rib cage. And inside of there is, like right here is the liver, right here is the heart, and right he here is the lungs. And the lungs, everybody knows that in you, the air goes into your lungs, unless you don't know that, and you're in a weird grade. In the heart, it's kind of obvious because it pumps blood all through your body. It doesn't make blood, it pumps blood. Then there's your... Um, legs and arms, it's kind of like a door hinge because when you move like this, kind of like a door hinge when the door like moves, open and closing. So, yeah. Then, let's get to the actual organs now. Get to the brain. The brain is part of the nervous system. And it, it controls your body. It's like, if I'm talking right now, the brain is actually doing it. So, yeah. And the brain controls, like, the brain is controlling your eyes to watch this video. And the brain is controlling me to hold this book. <laughs> so, you know what the brain does. Everybody knows. Then, then the eye, it helps you see, the nose helps you smell and stuff. Then it comes to the digestive system. The digestive system is kind of a little hard. It actually, it's pretty long. First is your mouth, and then your teeth chewed up, then it goes down your esophagus, which is in your throat. Then it goes to the stomach, and then it mixes for four to six hours. Then go. After mixing, it goes to the liver, and the liver takes out all the nutrients. Then, it goes to the small intestine, which is the longest organ in your body. Then it goes to the large intestine. Then it goes out your butthole. <laughs> or the rectum. Same thing with the excretory. You drink, then it goes down, then it goes to the liver, then the stomach or something. Then it goes out the rectum. 
Then, there's, yeah, I just talked about the first two. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now let's talk about how we can take, I mean, keep your teeth clean. You need to brush your teeth right behind your tooth and right between, like, the gum, from the gum, like right here, all the way down. And then you do this, and then do this and stuff. I think it's easier to use a electric toothbrush so it can do the deep cleaning. <laughs> or if you don't take care of your teeth, you go to the dentist. And sweet and sugar and soda. I'm not allowed to drink soda yet can like actually mostly soda can break down your teeth or something like that and in the book it said oh yeah in the book this is how your teeth works with the acid or you get an egg then you pour vinegar inside the glass like you put the you put the egg in the glass then you put a bunch of vinegar in there then wait it for over the night then it feels softer because it's sucks out all the calcium and that's basically how the the acid works with your tea the oh yeah on the video I found a like the at the beginning of a video um, some people were like hey destructor the Harold is here like hey Harold hey I don't have no cavities like let's see Oh, that's a lot of cavities. And you know what I said about I will drill it into your teeth. It's going to hurt a lot. <laughs> then he had to, like, pull out his teeth. And then he has dentures now. And then, yeah, it's funny. But destructive. And dentists wouldn't do that. Or they're going to get sued. And they're going to lose a lot of money. Then... It comes to your nails, and your nail underneath your nails can be really dirty when you're picking up dirt and stuff. And make sure you clean under when you're washing your hands. Clean under your nails. And yeah, nails are supposed to protect dirt from going inside. It does, but it goes under the nail. What? <laughs> so. Then, there's a bunch of more, like, uh-huh, uh, okay, then there, I will show you some pages, like this, it's so bad, it's so sad, it's so weird, because this kid is bleeding so badly, I don't know why, look. If you can't see it, <coughs> look. <coughs> this kid right here. If you want to close up, here you go. There. There. The bleedingness. And the blood is made out of blood cells and white blood cells. And the white blood cells take and kills germs. And the red blood cells just carries oxygen. And that would make it red. And red. And red. <laughs> then, when you breathe, then, let's go back to the bones, because I'm skipping everywhere. Bones are amazing, because when you break a bone, it can mend back together. Like when a sword is broken, you can mend it back together. But it takes like six weeks or three weeks or two weeks just to heal. Yeah. It must suck. Once my music teacher said that she broke two of her arms and she didn't get homework for the rest until it was healed, but she had to get fed by somebody. So that's the thing. <laughs> Good, no homework for kids is happiness, but you can't get, you have to get fed by somebody else and that's embarrassing. <laughs> So, I basically talked about a bunch of stuff, like how the lungs work, the liver works, and what the brain does, 
and all the things you should know. Oh yeah, and there's an activity you should try. It says right here. Test a piece of cling wrap, a tissue, and a bandage to see which is most like skin. Which one lets you bend your finger most easily? Which ones are waterproof? So which ones are waterproof? And the bendiest is is the winner and most like skin. A tissue is not waterproof, but it's bendy. A bandage. It could be waterproof, it could, but um, it, it won't bend if it's fresh. And yeah, so I think the clean wrap might do it because it could be waterproof and it could bend easily, I think. Or it could be none. So that's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this book report about this book called My Body and a bunch of 160 pages right there of stuff so I uh, what so I hope you subscribe leave a comment and like this video bye